Okay guys, welcome finally to the 21 Pilots concert video. So, as you can see, I'm still in Great Falls, Montana in my room. It is 10.56 p.m. So, uh, yeah, so this is actually the night right before the concert. And um, just a sneak peek for the next update video. Got some of this stuff. I'm not going to go over it right now because, of course, I don't want to get into that in this video. That will be for the update video coming in about two and a half weeks from now. So... A little bit, but um, I gotta wait for Hexel Ridge to get here, um, so I can just get that out of the way on that video as well. But I basically just want to go over the stuff I wanted, the, or I packed just to show my fully powered camera bag stuff. Um, so yeah, so basically this bag, my nifty bag that I made in seventh grade, um, is basically holding all my clothes, my contacts, and my snacks and stuff. And, um, yeah, so basically in my pills and everything for that, um, but basically, um, this is my main bag, my, for me, my most important bag, honestly, like my contacts, my pills are honestly pretty important, probably the most important thing out of that bag, but this, you guys know, is my camera bag, I showed it for the first time ever on Daylog 33, and I showed it when it was just about half full of the stuff that pretty much always stays in there, except for when I'm using it, but now I'm gonna show it how I have it packed, for the trips so basically i'm probably not going to use i'm obviously not going to use all this stuff over this trip um because it's only it's not even two full days and basically i mean you can't even really use any of this at the concert basically you guys might be able to tell right now i'm actually filming on my ipod fifth generation sadly i'm gonna have to film at the ipod with it or at the trip at the concert with this because if you guys don't know, you're technically not allowed to film, but I know the copyright rights. I know that I'm not allowed to film over 30 seconds and post it, so, like, I know not to do that, so, like, that's fine. But, like, I've heard that they might pat me down, or, I mean, <laughs> just pat anyone down. So, I heard that sometimes they pat you down, you have to go through a metal detector, and you're just not allowed to have any, like, professional filming device. So, like, a phone or an iPod, they're not going to count, but, like, anything that's a camera... Um, so yeah, so I, I, sadly, I mean, the main reason is, like, I'm, I'm pretty much fine with the quality on this, but the thing is, is, like, this is it at full zoom right here. This is full zoom, and this is full, not unzoomed. Um, so yeah, so I don't know, because my seats are, like, I mean, it's not a huge gym, but at the same time, it's, like, I mean, it can, this is my r room, and it's not that big um so yeah so hopefully i can zoom far enough so you i will be able to get you guys some good footage but if not hopefully i'll be able to get you guys some at least decent footage but basically just going over this real quick so we can get this out of the way so i don't bore you guys any longer this is my camera bag or my technology bag at full power so basically in here i don't have anything in these pockets but right here i have my Acer laptop in there ready to go so I can now upload videos on the go as long as I have Wi-Fi. Um, and then in here you can just see there's stuff everywhere. I got my main tripod right here. In here I got my Vivitar tripod and my flexible tripod. Then in here, or actually in here, actually I'll go in here. Um, so yeah, so then I got that camera which is my Samsung WB35F along with my iPod charger my charger for my um for anything that uses micro usb which would be like my phone if i have to charge it or my that camera and then yeah i got my ipod charger my my micro usb charger and my um laptop charger then i got my earbuds which are basically the ear earbuds that i showed back in the summer um and then i got my cord for uploading videos on my new camera which right there of course is my new camera which i showed on daylog 33 so i got my canon sx 530 hs right there and then in here, my DC Superhero Zing, I haven't showed this yet, I actually just got it today, but I'm just going to do a quick little uh, review of what I got today. So, I actually got it just today, and I ordered it because if you guys, um, or actually you guys, none of you guys have seen this video yet, but um, I actually got, I actually, um, uh, it was the, it was called, it's going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Domination, and it's going to be the next video after this. Um, so stay tuned for that, but I said my, my, I couldn't use my camera to film that video because, um, the battery died really quick in like an hour or so. So now I got two more batteries, and that's not all that came with this pack. Not only that, these are two longer lasting batteries than the other ones, so now I got about a whole day's worth of batteries. So now I can film with that camera whenever I want. I'm completely good with battery power on that camera now, so now I'll be pumping out more videos with that 
camera, so we'll put that right there. And along with that battery pack also came a whole bunch of accessories, basically cleaning. You can see right there that little pump thing right there with that little squeezy ball thingy with the little red tube. That's basically to squeeze any like out of cracks like that or anything. Basically like blows any crumbs out of there or anything you get in there. And then I got my Vivitar remote with its charger and then a little spray bottle for water or whatever lens cleaner. My uh, microfiber um, lens wipe it also came with and then also a little car charger attachment and a little lens brush. So yeah, it's basically a whole cleaning kit and that just goes in there along with my Vivitar remote and everything. So that's all for that stuff. And then it also came with another charger pack, which this one's very cool because if you need to charge batteries with higher voltage, you can basically actually snap off this whole part, but I don't need to do that, obviously. But you can charge one camera or one battery in there. And so I obviously got the charger light and uh, yeah, so I got another charger pack and you can connect the car charger thing right there. And it also came with this attachment, which I don't have in here because I will probably never use it, um, at least for a very long time. But it's a little attachment that I can attach to this to plug it into those foreign plugins, like in uh, the UK and everything. And then, uh, of course, I got my hard drive down there, which you can barely see uh, down there for uploading, along with my regular Canon charger. So now I have three batteries, and I can charge two at a time. So I'm pretty much completely good on battery power now. And uh, yeah, so that's basically my whole setup. That's everything I got in my tech bag. And I am completely set. I got everything I will need, including snacks and clothes and pills and, and that and everything I will need for filming. So I am completely set. I'm definitely excited. And this is awesome. Like, I didn't even know it could hold this much, but this camera bag is absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, so now I this video clip was a little bit longer than I was hoping it was going to be. So, um, but I will put a little annotation thing at the very beginning of this video just to say, like, Obviously, none of you probably want to watch through this part, so I'll just say when, like, the actual, like, traveling to Bozeman and everything, because I'm going to probably take, like, a few pictures, maybe a few video clips, but basically once the actual episode starts, so I'll say, like, skip to seven minutes or whatever, so, um, yeah, but if you guys are watching this part, thank you so much, but if not, um, then hopefully you just skip to the good part, so, um, yeah, but hopefully you guys are enjoying that right now if you did, um, but, uh, yeah, so now we will get on to that. I'm gonna go to bed now, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so excited. I was filming the 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 Lucky Charms commercial in our spiffy motel up in the sizzy. Got a little privacy wall up in the sizzy. Pull that. You want to show the wall? No. Just in case if you don't like what the person in the other bed is doing. <laughs> Look at that sliding action. <laughs> Doesn't work that well, but.
Wish I didn't have to run every time I said I was home when I get older, all my feet were straight But now I'm insecure, and I hear what people like to say
Hmm. That's no good. Every time you start shaking, I get terrified because of the trauma of 64. People died in that 64 quake. Ground just shook like crazy. You know, the ground shook and shook and shook. And then... found this note crumpled up under my bed. If you don't know the By My Man, it's a movie in theaters right now. It's a pretty low-rated horror movie, but if you don't know it's the main thing for movies, don't think it, don't see. <laughs> that just found this note crumpled up under my bed. Oh, I don't think it was there last night. Probably gonna die. It's really weird. I'm gonna go bye-bye. Well, let's go. Okay guys, welcome back. So I am officially home as you can already tell. But um yeah, so we were basically just stayed the night over in Bozeman, of course, at the Royal Seven Motel in or whatever it's called. Um but yeah, so it was actually a pretty nice hotel, especially or motel I guess. Um because it wasn't actually that expensive, but it was pretty nice for how cheap it was. Um but uh yeah, so of course you guys this vlog is or I mean this video is probably already like almost 40 minutes or so so i do have more stuff to show including over there and all that stuff but basically that's just sneak peeks for next um not the next video but the next update video which um um which that should be coming in about two and a half weeks like it could be sooner um but the reason why i'm saying two and a half weeks um, is because, um, the last thing that I want to show on it, um, as I explained in the beginning of the episode, is Hacksaw Ridge on Blu-ray, DVD, and Digital HD, and I'm getting that on the release day, um, on February 21st, so I have to wait till that gets here, um, and that's why, but basically I just want to show my things that go along with this, so that will be for the next update video, so if you would like to see that where I show all this cool stuff, then make sure to definitely like, share, and subscribe. That way you can stay tuned for all that. But basically, I'm just going to show my 21 Pilot stuff in this episode. So, a lot of you guys probably know what my 21 Pilots wall right here with um all my 21 Pilots drawings and everything. But I, as you can see, I did add something right here, which is basically my ticket from the thing. Basically, um we printed them off of... We bought them, and then once it got closer to the concert, um, you can see, uh, or actually it's on the other paper that I cut those out of, um, but we printed them off um, uh, just a few days before the concert, and uh, yeah, so then they just scanned them, and they were full pieces of paper, but I just cut them out, and then my dad's and Brayton's are right there, and I'm just gonna, I just cut them out, and I'm gonna laminate them, and then cut them out again, and give that, them their tickets, um, so yeah, so... But basically, this is mine. I put in the 21 pilot section. Um, but yeah, so that is my ticket for the concert that we just went to last night. For me, anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically, it's just like what seat I had. And you can just see it says 21 pilots. Emotional Roadshow, Brick Breed, and Field House. And then right there, it says to Tuesday, February 7, 2017. And then show camera. Don't know what that says, but show something. Um, but uh, yeah, so then you can see that red thing on it. And basically what that is is confetti. You saw in the last, or one of the last clips where they were singing um, trees. And they are like on the, beating on the big drums. And that was really awesome. Um, but you saw like the confetti. And I did not think that there was going to be that much confetti. But there was tons of it. And some of it was kind of floating over to us, but none of it did. So I was just like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to probably get a, a piece of tea, um, a piece of uh, confetti. But then when we were walking out, there's huge crowds and everything. Um, and me and Brayton, or Brayton and I found some confetti on the floor and we got that. And basically, I just wrote 21 Pilots, February 7, 2017, Bozeman, Montana. Emotional Roadshow on that, just as a second souvenir. So yeah, so I got my ticket with my c confetti on it. So yeah, so that is my new thing there. And then my other new thing is right here. So you guys know, 
um, on, on that picture where it was, like, me in front of, it was, like, me, like, standing over here, or, like, over here, and then, like, in the background, I had the whole stadium and everything, um, you would have saw that I was wearing my 21 Pilot shirt that I got quite, um, toward, like, sometime in the summer and everything, right before school and everything, um, and I did an episode, and that episode was a Brendan World t-shirt where I first ever showed that, and, um, along with my cat shirt and everything, but now I got my second 21 Pilots t-shirt, but I actually like this one better, so I'm gonna set up my camera real quick right here, and, uh, so yeah, basically here is my new shirt, so I got it in the same size, and it will shrink a little bit, I haven't washed it yet, um, but I am going to wear it to school tomorrow, since I got to skip two days of school, but basically I'm doing my best in school since about fifth grade. Like, this is the best I've done in school since fifth grade, so that's why my parents let me in. I mean, it's 21 Pilots, my favorite band of all time, and yeah, but basically this is a shirt. Hopefully you guys can see all of it, but you can see I definitely like this one a lot better. Not only because it's just 21 Pilots, not like Blurry Face, like... Blurry Face is my favorite album, but, like, this is just 21 Pilots overall, not just one album. So, yeah, so you can see right here, it just says, um, you can see right there, it just says 21 Pilots. And then you got Tyler standing right there with his hand up, and then you can actually see right there a little bit. Um, you can actually see that, I don't know what to call it, but his little, like, flower, um, shirt that he wears at most of his concerts. And then right there in front of Josh's drum set, you can see Tyler's little ukulele. And then, of course, you can see, um, Josh right there playing on his drum set, and then, of course, Josh's drum set with the kitchen sink logo, and then right there is actually a sticker. I just want to show this to you guys before I took it off, but it's basically 21 Pilots, and you can get, um, it has a little code right here, which you guys can't see, and I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'm not going to give it to you guys still, just in case if I do, um, but, uh, yeah, so it's basically just a sticker, and you get 15% off of any t-shirt on 21pilots.com, so I'm just going to put that over there for now. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that is the shirt now without the sticker. So it's definitely, I like it a lot better than my other one, but it probably will shrink about, my dad said about that much, because it's 100% cotton, but it's very soft, pretty much just as soft as my 21 Pilot, my other 21 Pilot shirt right when I got it. Um, then this is the back, and of course, since this is a tour exclusive shirt, um, for the Emotional Roadshow, it says 21 Pilots again right there, and then right there that you got the Emotional Roadshow logo. If you can see that right there, and then right there you got the little, like, Japanese logos or whatever those are, and then a little dog hair, um, and then you can see it says 2017, and then the little kitchen sink again right there, and then right here is all of the dates, um, and where they are, so those are all the t things that they're going on their emotional road show world tour, and you can see right there, there's our show, let me see if I can show it a little bit better, but, um, yeah, so let me just make sure you can see it on the camera, um, but, uh, yeah, you can see February 7th right there in Bozeman, Montana, so there's our show right there, so it's really cool to have our show on there, and then right there, um, on my other one, since I bought it from, um, Hot Topic, on um, my other Toyota Pilot shirt, it's not actually that, but since this one, like, if you buy it off of ToyotaPilots.com or at a concert or anything, it's actually 21 Pilots official gear, so then on the arm sleeve right here, you got this little nice tag, and it just says top official, which that's really cool, so you know it's a really good, nice official shirt, but yeah, so that is my new shirt, and then it says FP right there, and uh, yeah, so I, I'm gonna wear it quite a bit, probably to the end of this year, um, but then I might actually hang it up, um, I might hang up a few shirts, because you guys know... Um, that I already got my, uh, McJuggernugget shirt hung up, of course, but then my Brennan Rolled t-shirt, like, um, I'm, I, I was saying I'm probably gonna wear that for this year, but then I'm gonna hang that up, and then now, same with this shirt, I'm probably gonna wear it for, like, this year, and then hang it up, and I'm gonna hang it up on, like, the front, and then I'm probably just gonna, like, print off a picture of the back, um, and pretty darn big, and hang it up right next to it, but if I do hang that, I'm gonna probably just move those, those two posters somewhere else and hang it right there, and then my Brennan Rolled t-shirt, um, I will probably hang right there, um, so yeah, so, but that is for the end of the school year to decide whether I do or not, but, um, yeah, so that is my new 21 Pilots t-shirt, I'm gonna wear that to school tomorrow, um, and you can also get hoodies, but those were $70, this is $40, so probably still the most expensive shirt I've ever bought, but it was definitely worth it, like, that's the coolest 21 Pilots shirt I've ever seen, um, but, uh, yeah, and then you could also get the beanies, you guys probably all seen those, and they say 21 Pilots on it, and then you could get a poster, but as you guys know, I don't usually buy posters, because I can just draw them, like, the poster wasn't that much different than that, so yeah, so I was just like, why would I get that when I can draw it, <laughs> so yeah, so, 
Now the final thing that I just want to get out of the way in this video. So you guys know we are in Bozeman. They have an Audi dealership. And basically you guys know my favorite car is the 2012 Audi R8 V8. Um, uh, Audi R8 V8. Or the 2012 Audi R8 V8 Silver and Black. Which is that same exact one right there. Um, and that's my favorite car of all time since 2010. When they first released pictures of it. And b back then I was kind of dumb. Of course I was. I mean I was seven years younger almost um so yeah so um but yeah so basically i went to i my big brother um bailey brayton and my mom basically just went there um to bozeman uh, quite a few years ago just to kind of just hang out in bozeman for the day while my dad was at work and stuff and um i was just like hey don't, why don't we go to the audi dealership they, they'll probably have an audi r8 there and i was just like and nowadays I, I always laugh at it because I'm just like, yeah, an Audi R8 in Montana. Mm -mm. Um, but as you guys know, over the past year and a half, I um, my mom and dad saw a Lamborghini Huracan, which is actually the new car of the owner of the GTR that I saw and put in a video um, that I saw at the car show and then I saw at the hospital. So I got lots of footage and pictures of that. Um, so my mom and dad have seen a Lamborghini Huracan, I've seen a GTR, and I've also seen a Bentley, um, which is the most expensive car I've ever seen, um, and uh, yeah, so those are pretty much the nicest cars I've ever seen, um, I've seen a few others as well, but now today, I have finally seen an Audi R8. <laughs> I'm not joking. I I'm I'm having trouble. I'm still having trouble believing not only that like I was in the same room as Josh and Tyler and uh, along with Judah and the Lion, which is actually way better of a band than I thought they were, along with John Bellion, which I've really got into him lately. But like I'm still having trouble believing that. But now like I saw an Audi R8 today. <laughs> so basically here's the story. Um yesterday we just didn't get really get around to going and visiting it. Me and my dad just Basically wanted to go there and just kind of see the new A7s because my dad and I actually really like those. Um, and you can actually see a picture of one of the nice Audi A7 that we saw in there. And keep in mind, this car was actually still, I believe my dad said it was 70000 something dollars. So this car was still 70000 something dollars, I believe. Um, but this was my, like, my dad and I's favorite, second favorite Audi. Um, well, actually my third favorite Audi because my second favorite Audi is that um, Audi TT. Um, so yeah, but this is the Audi A7 we saw. So yeah, but now, today, we did get around to going to the Audi dealership, and then we were passing by it, and I was just like, what the heck? Because I saw a little, if you guys have seen the 2017 Audi R8s, or the new version since 2015, um, you know how they look, and I saw like a line, and I thought I saw like a line, and then like a side blade, um, and then I was just like, I think there might actually be an Audi R8, and like, just before we left, I was just like, there's probably not gonna be an Audi R8, but just nice to visit there. Um, and then I was just like, and then we were like, kind of driving around, and I was just like, oh, actually, no, I don't, I think that kind of just looks like an A7. But then we walked up to the door after looking at some cars outside, and I was just, I saw the back, and I was just like, I started flipping out, I was just like, oh my god, it's an Audi R8. <laughs> so I just like, was flipping out, and then I walked inside, my dad was talking to the guy, which was actually from Rome, um, originally, so he had quite a bit of an accent, um, but yeah, so my dad was talking to him, and I just basically asked him if I was allowed to take pictures, and he was just like, of course, take as many as you want, so I basically just went around and took pictures of anything, because I mean, like, an Audi R8, I thought I was either not gonna see one ever, or at least for not for a long time, like, my dad's actually seen a 2012 Audi R8, um, but it was, like, at an airport in Croatia on one of his deployments, and it had, like, ads all over it and everything um so it wasn't as cool just because of the paint job mainly but my dad's seen one of those but now he's seen a 2017 one and if you in the pictures i'm about to show you it is cool like i honestly like the 2012 one better still but i did not think i was going to be liking the 2017 one as as much as i did in real life but it was so cool like it it was this like normally i like all audi r8s and like silver and black but like this audi r8 was um, black and like matte gunmetal gray, which is like one of my favorite colors, and it was just so cool, and it just looked really, really nice, and it was definitely my favorite car I've ever seen in real life, um, because you guys know, um, I've seen a GTR, of course, and tons of Corvette Stingrays, I mean, just go watch my 
Corvette rally video um, from quite a while ago. Um, and then now I have seen an Audi R8, so I have now officially seen my top three favorite cars of all time. Of course, I haven't seen that exact GTR. I saw a red one. That's my favorite version right there, the one from Furious 7, and it's navy blue with the carbon fiber trunk and the carbon fiber hood. That's my exact favorite Corvette Stingray, a 2015 Corvette Stingray Z51, blacked out wheels and sapphire blue. And you guys know I've actually seen that exact one at the Corvette rally, so I've seen that exact one in the Audi R8. Of course, I still have not seen this exact one. This is still my favorite one, but still, I have seen an Audi R8, and plus it was like, it was a brand new one, and not only was it a brand new one, but it was four-wheel drive, because that's what Quattro means. Um, so yeah, so it was a 2017 Audi R8 um, V10 Quattro. So it not only was it four-wheel drive, but it was also V10. So basically, what I was saying is like, without modifying it, um, or like just making it not street legal, a V10 Quattro 2017 Audi R8, that's basically the strongest and fastest you can get in Audi R8 with still having it be street legal or without modifying it at all. So, like, I saw, like, currently the top-of-the-line Audi R8 that people just sell from the dealerships as my first Audi R8 I've ever seen. So I was just, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I finally saw an Audi R8. I'm still having trouble believing just all the stuff that happened over the past two days. But, um, yeah, so... Um, that was really awesome. So I will show you those pictures in a few seconds. You saw one of the pictures on the thumbnail, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I have now seen my top three favorite cars, and I'm getting on the list. I got GTR down, Corvette Stingray, tons of those. Um, now an Audi R8, got a Bentley down. Um, probably once the winter's over, I'll finally see the Lamborghini Hurricane, and I'll definitely get some pictures of that for you guys. And, um, yeah, so I'm basically going to end off this picture, or this video, with some pictures so hopefully you guys like this episode. Um, I haven't watched the whole thing edited, but I can definitely say this is my favorite episode. I'm 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 not saying like movie themes or like mini movies and stuff. Of course, like those are more um like I do usually like those better. But like day vlog wise, like day vlog type and everything. Um, definitely this is my favorite day vlog type video since Gun Mayhem 4. If you guys have not seen Gun Mayhem 4. Um, I'll actually link that down in the description. It really has nothing to do with this video. But as you guys know, that was like the biggest video of last year, the most hyped up for. And I can pretty much say, no matter what, this is going to be one of the most hyped up for, if not the most anticipated and hyped for up video of all time here on Brennan World for quite a while, probably. Um, because like, I just, I don't know. I mean, it's just 21 Pilots, along with Judah and the Lion and, um, John Belly. And so, uh, yeah, so over there um, so yeah basically the last things i have to say is i can say yesterday was one of my most favorite days of my whole entire life one of the best days of my entire life i just had so much fun i felt a lot more happy than i usually do um but yeah so i felt a lot more happy than i have in a while that's what my mom said with la la land that made her just feel really happy and everything like that so we all have our things that make us get off some of the stress and all that stuff in life and just make us feel really happy and that's what 21 pilots does for all the click and just really me and everything and i just absolutely love all three of the bands that performed it was way more insane than i thought it was going to be and just it was spectacular like it was the best i haven't been to much concerts really at all but like i've been to the bison blue man group and everything the last year and like that was the most that was like the most crazy and fun and insane thing i've seen in a theater other than a movie since the bison blue man group um but that was even more insane so yeah so one of the best days of my life um and yeah so hopefully you guys all enjoyed too i got you guys lots of footage lots of pic lots of pictures hopefully you guys liked all the vlog footage and um pictures and us traveling there and back definitely make sure to stay um to stay tuned for um next um the next upcoming episodes um and uh yeah if you have not seen gun mayhem 4 definitely go check that out the link is down in the description like i just said and um yeah so i think that is pretty much it for now so that is pretty much it make sure to stay tuned right now because these will be the audi r8 um pictures and um yeah so i will see you next time um here on brendan so here are the pictures but uh yeah so i'll see you all later bye
Thank you.